What's going on guys? Today we're checking out the 2021 Rocky Mountain Growler 40. Uh, super cool, aggressive, uh, I would even say progressive uh, do-it-all hardtail with a great parts kit that uh, you know a friend of mine recently set up so decided to do a quick rundown on it. So let's check it out. So the Growler line itself has uh, the same frame across the line. Uh, as you can see here, we can see it is a Growler 40. So this particular one is uh, a little bit higher end parts kit, but uh, it's the same frame across the board. So Rocky Mountain is, uh, you know, has a long reputation of making some of the great uh, bikes and durable bikes in Canada. Uh, this guy is no different. Uh, for example, here we've got a tapered head tube, as well as an integrated tapered headset, which is, uh, for a sub $2,000 bike, uh, a really good addition. We can see here we have internal cable routing for the dropper post, which, uh, once again, really good value add for that, uh, for that rear seat post that is uh, built into this. So really good value overall. Um, I'm quite surprised that a frame of this price point would include internal routing for uh, brake lines, uh, dropper post, and uh, drivetrain. So really, really good value that way. So across all sizes, we have a 40 mil stem and house brand bar, which is great. And then uh, that sealed integrated headset, which is good value. So across the line, we have boost hubs front and rear. Uh, in the back, 12 by 148. And in the front, we have that boost through axle. So once again, touching on value, that is a hell of a price point to have a bike that uh, comes stock with boost and through axles. As we can see here on the back, this is a 2.6 inch WTB tire uh, by 29. Tons of tire clearance here. So uh, you can bring this guy up to I'm guessing 2.8 without any issues, or conversely go down the other way if you want a faster rolling hardtail. Here's a quick shot of the through axle boost front fork. Uh, so that would be 15 by 110 mil uh, with those hydraulic Shimano brakes uh, on the SR Sun Tour fork, uh, which is you know great value on a hardtail, especially you don't need anything fancy. So on the SR Sun Tour fork, um, you do get that lockout feature, which is fantastic. That's a really good value to have on this guy. And then uh, I'm assuming on the bottom we have rebound, likely not compression, just use air for that. But uh, you know, just really good for what you get at this price point. And then top that off with this uh, integrated fender that's built right in, um, which can be replaced if needed. But uh, you know, just makes one less thing that you have to buy. Here's where a little bit of the magic happens on the bike itself. We have an aluminum frame, like I mentioned, but we actually have a threaded bottom bracket. No more of this press fit junk. So for a bike that's at this price point to have a threaded bottom bracket that comes standard, that's a, a real great way to cut price point on these bikes is to not include a thread BB. So we've got the through axle on the back, we've got the threaded BB, for the crank set and then we have that tapered head tube you know this thing's knocking it right out of the park on the drivetrain side of things we have a shimano dior 12 speed uh, package with a micro spline uh, cassette driver which once again is unheard of on a bike below two grand uh, shimano dior 12 speed is uh, a workhorse for shimano and super super good value uh, haven't heard any issues with it other than it's just not quite as crisp as perhaps XT. But I digress, a lot of the technology is actually the same to, to making a really good wide range drivetrain at a, an affordable price point. Uh, for a bike that's at this price point to have a, you know an on off clutch, which is uh, great, that's this guy right here. You can move it on and off. That's a huge value add and uh, it's gonna keep this thing super, super quiet for years to come. Uh, so the entire package comes with WTB um, I30 ST rims, so a uh, really good package. Comes with WTB Trail Boss 2.6 uh, tires, which uh, I don't know who makes them. They, they look very Schwalbe-esque. It wouldn't shock me if they're made in the same factory, but I uh, figured I'd give you a quick close-up on these guys. So a Shimano drivetrain, 12-speed with uh, you know a high-range cassette plus Shimano hydraulic disc brakes on a bike with through axle hubs, boost spec, micro spline cassette, uh, really good aluminum cranks, 
an integrated dropper seat post, and a banging WDB parts kit. You know, this thing is begging to be bought. Um, you know, it's punching way above its weight class. I could easily see this be going for, you know, close to three grand, uh, just based on the parts kit alone. So whoever buys this, I think is getting a bike that, uh, you know, it's an aggressive hardtail. I would even say progressive, like I mentioned earlier, based on the fact that it is a 64 degree head angle on a hardtail, which makes it both capable uphill um, as well as more than capable on the downhill segment. So um, the owner of this guy here is gonna really, really enjoy this. Uh, and then to top it off, you get this amazing paint job that's almost like a, a flat black in the front, gloss in the rear with some gloss lettering that matches the fork as well. Looks fantastic. I really think they knocked it out of the park on the Growler 40. I'm really liking the look of the Sun or SR Suntour fork with those blacked out stanchions. Um, if anybody knows anything about SR Suntour, they actually used to make all the uh, Marizoki forks before they went out of business. So they know what they're doing. They, uh, they know how to heavily manufacture a good price point product. And uh, this guy is no different with that integrated fender, lockout feature, adjustable spring rate, and obviously rebound on the bottom. So, if there was anything I would change on this bike is I'd like to see uh, how we have right here water bottle mounts. I'd like to see another set uh, on the back triangle right here. Um, I know that with the curved C2 perhaps that might not be feasible, but uh, that's just something that I would like to see in the future if they decide to go that route. route. So overall we've got a hardcore hardtail that's more than capable of anything that you know, anyone watching this video is going to be able to throw at it. Yes, I know there's reflectors on it. I think it looks stupid with them. Those will come off immediately. But uh, bang in part spec, really good value for the price point, And it's future proof with the boost axles, the threaded bottom bracket, and the tapered head tube. Um, this is a great value bike. It's going to make uh, a, a great... Uh, just secondary bike to uh, to the fleet that it goes into. So uh, I'm pretty pumped for it, and uh, whoever's looking at one of these should definitely consider one, in my opinion, based on the part spec and uh, frame features, designs, geometry, technology alone. So thumbs up for Rocky Mountain. You guys knocked this guy right out of the park.